Highlights the main event, Cruiserweights, Rave Springs and Kelvin, the Concrete Davis. Rave Springs is 30 years of age. He had 119 amateur wins, 188 and a half pounds, coming off a six-month, nine-day layoff. He has had a lot of layoffs with a 24 and two record and 19 knockouts. He's coming off a win against William Guthrie, former IBF champ, 11th round stoppage. Springs dominated that fight. Kelvin Concrete Davis, 24 years of age, 18, 0 and 1, 13 knockouts. He weighed 190 pounds. He's ranked number six by the IBF, number 14 by the WBA, number 15 by the WBC, and he held the USBA Cruiserweight crown. He won that USBA crown against Arthur Williams, a 12-round split decision win. New York rules will be used for the main event. Three knockdown rule in effect, no standing eight count. Fighter could not be saved with the bell in any round. Accidental foul, they'll go to the scorecards after half the rounds are complete. Hubert Earl is out referee. Don Athlete. Ackerman, Melvina Latham, Julie Letterman are Protect the judges. At all times. Big hands, bell rings, come up fighting. Good luck. For Kelvin Davis, his first 17 bouts, or as a heavyweight, says he wants to be like Evander Holyfield, clean up the cruiserweight division, and then move on and win a heavyweight championship. Obviously, he's been in against limited competition. He stepped it up as of late as the win against Williams, the win on Friday Night Fights against Tipton Walker. In the corner of Springs out of Cincinnati, Ohio, is Ricardo Williams Sr. I believe right from the beginning, David is going to stay undefeated and win the fight, it will come right via knockout, not decision. Davis graduated Sparks High School in Reno in 1996. The leather is going to fly here. The cruder man, but the stronger man, but the rawer man, the less polished man, is definitely Davis. He will be looking for one place full. He's a little wider. Springs, who is a tremendous amateur, and he is much more polished. And it looks like so far, he knows what he has to do. Stay on the outside. Davis was an outstanding running back, played a little college ball at Sacramento State. His mom is friends with Mills Lane. And Mills offered Kelvin a chance to go to Las Vegas to give boxing a try. That's how he got his start in this sport, all through the efforts of the great Mills Lane. Less polished man, David. He had dynamite in those gloves. The trick for him is to get into position to explode them. The trick for Springs is to make sure he doesn't. Springs is a much more experienced man when you count the amateurs. David is having almost no amateur background. Seven bounds in total. Davis always gives away the height. He's giving away four inches tonight. Gave away six inches to Arthur Williams. So it's nothing new to him. Game plan for Springs, just what you see. Stay off those ropes, and he wants to stay off those ropes. Springs does not want to get trapped with the ball out. He wants to stay on the outside, not be Flash ahead. Interesting, while Davis in the black trunks wants to eventually do damage to the cruiserweight move to the heavyweights. Springs says his best weight is really 175. He says light heavy, he can make it easily. That's what he really wants to campaign in. Nice combination by Springs. Naturally, he should be at a lower weight. I agree, Bob. Davis naturally a much bigger, stronger man. Turned pro at 207. Stayed over 200 pounds for two years. Last two fights dropped down to cruiserweight. As you said, Springs did small all his career. Turned pro at middleweight. Moved up to super middleweight for two years. Then after a year and a half layoff, came back at cruiserweight. what the weight is. The style is what counts. The springs, the quicker man, the smarter, the more polished man. Can he stay away from Davis? Is the key with Springs. He only has two losses as a pro, both by way of knockout. Well, as both men head back to their respective corners, let's take you to Teddy's tips.
for tonight's main event. Well, as I was just saying, if Springs is going to pull off a little bit of an upset tonight, stay off those ropes, and then you can stay off the floor. Don't get trapped with the stronger Davis. Control range, control distance, and do counterpunching. You don't want to be close. You want to be on the outside and use your quicker hands. And don't get caught on the way out. Go out the side doors and make sure those gloves are up because Davis will look to catch you going out. Now, if Davis wants to stay undefeated, well, what he's going to have to do, pretty simple. Seconds out, let's get go. close enough and then chuck that right hand. That's what works against the southpaw. Also, go. take the right, skulls right, away right, with right, your Springs. Take the legs away, go to the body. And while trying to do that, cut the ring down. Corner Springs, don't follow him around. Round number two underway. Davis in the black trunks. Springs in the silver. Tommy Box stats telling in round number one. And the most telling stat of all, Springs, the taller man by four inches. And the silver trunks landed 17 of 42 jabs. See how Springs made sure he stayed on all of those ropes. Got caught one body shot, but he didn't stay around for anything more. Game plan is real specific. Real simple. Springs must be on the outside using that jam. Not getting caught stepping back. When he was younger, as a kid, Kelvin Davis's idol was Mike Tyson. As far as skill level is concerned, he said the early Tyson trusted to pattern some of his style after that. He loved Tyson's explosiveness in the 80s. And as a football player, as Davis still has aspirations of getting invited we're going to an open trial and somehow going to an NFL camp. Barry Sanders is idle. Boy, could Barry Sanders stop on a dime, turn this way, turn that way, forward, backward, and elude tackles. Right now, though, Davis needs none of Barry Sanders' skills. He needs the early Tyson skills. The only, you're right. The only skills of Barry Sanders is when he went north to south to the goal line. That's where Davis wants to go, to the goal line. The goal line would be the chin of Rabia Springs. There's a body shot by Davis, trying to take those springs away, as I said. Those legs away from Rabia Springs. Slow him down. If you can slow him down, you can hit him. If you can hit him, you can go home. Those Rabia Springs only two losses by knockout. Got knocked out 96 by Kenny Snow. And Joseph Laria stopped him back in 1993. But that was Rave Springs' pro debut. That is a bad sign what you just saw there, what Springs did with Davis. Davis got in where he would want to be. But who landed the punch? Springs. Springs. If Davis can't win on the inside. He's going to have a possibility of a long night. Because he's now winning on the outside. The only good things I can see Davis doing, and that's up to Springs to make sure it doesn't happen on the outside, is if Springs pulls straight back, Davis could step with him and nail him. Springs nailed Davis with a counter right hand. There's going to be a lot of counter. Oh, that was close. Springs stepping out. Davis trying to catch him. Springs must keep those hands up, Bob, when he steps back. Close, oh, just like that eight horse. I know, and it won. That really won. I'd like to look at that again. Are you sick of getting kicked off the computer and fed up with missing important phone calls, all because everyone in the house is sharing one phone line? Not anymore. Introducing the switchboard from Emerson, the revolutionary phone line sharing system. Watch, just plug in one phone line, then hook in your computer, phone, and fax machine, and you're ready to go. Hello. Then surf the web and get quick incoming phone calls while you're online, Hello. or receive a quick fax while online. It's like having three phone lines without the expense. The switchboard works with any computer, phone, or fax machine. You could spend as much as $35 a month for an additional phone line. In a year, that's over $400. Or you can order the switchboard for just two low payments of $19.95. Call right now and receive the Compact Tech Pack free. If you're not completely satisfied, return the switchboard. But keep the Tech Pack as our gift. Order now. To order your Emerson switchboard, call 1-800-391-7997 or send check or money order for $39.90 plus shipping to the address on the screen. 
bottom right hand corner this is what you would expect Davis the shorter man coming forward getting inside but this is not what you would expect who lands the punch just springs with the right uppercut and then getting out if that continues Davis is going to have a hard time he is not as polished as Springs. Davis got a right hand hand in there to start round number three schedule four ten Look at the jab numbers through two rounds Springs has landed 17 jabs in each of the first two rounds and as Teddy will attest, even though you're the shorter man, it doesn't mean you shouldn't use your jab. That's how you get in. Walking in the way Davis is walking in right now, you leave yourself wide open for counter shots to be picked apart. There's nothing coming at the taller man. And right now, Swing is taking full advantage, having good sight. Nothing blurring his vision. He can see Davis work coming. Bit, work he can pick him up coming in. Pick him off before he gets in. He just has to be careful. Mr. Springs stepping straight out. I mentioned that Davis got his start in the sport with the help of Mills Lane. Springs' father, Robert Harris, and his uncles, Norman and Luther, were boxers. They introduced Rave Springs to the sport. He had an outstanding amateur career. Was the national PL cha PAL champion in 1989, Golden Gloves champion in 1990. But it wasn't. Oh, oh, there's a left down. hand that hurt Springs. Caught him stepping back. See, this is the kind of fight that even though Springs has been winning every minute up to this point, he cannot make one mistake, Bob. One mistake, he's out of there. Davis can make many mistakes and still win. Springs did the right thing there to hold on as Davis led with a right hand. And Springs was caught with a left hook stepping out. That is where the danger lies to Springs. This a poor man's preview of two or more. Very good point. <laughs> Very good point. The lefty, right, small guy, power guy. I don't think, I don't think Mora has the legs of Springs to move around the ring so much. He's going to have to do it by moving his head, dipping inside shot. And like I said, turning the clock back and using some of that power, slowing Tua down. Well, the most telling blow in the fight has come here in round number three. Rave Springs ate a left hand from Davis, and Davis rocked him. That is where the danger lies for Springs. Right here when he goes out. Two places of danger for Springs. One, he must not lay inside too long with the stronger Davis. He must not get caught going out. Springs not on his toes as he was earlier. This is your own personal assembly line where deals are made just for you. Like this week's special, the Compact Presario 6000 TPC. It's got an Intel Pentium 4 processor that delivers performance where you need it most. You'll also get a monitor, 20 gig hard drive, and tons of other great features, all for just $6.99 after a $30 rebate. Hurry and call 1-800-331-0403, and we'll line one up for you. Oh, here's where Davis gets himself back in the fight. Revaya Springs goes against the ropes, and then on his way out, catches a little bit of a left hook, wobbles his legs. The good news, he was able to survive. All right, here's the Friday Night Fights trivia question. When was the only time the heavyweight championship changed hands at a racetrack. Well, and you'd have to go back. And I don't mean in the form of a bet either. I mean actual fight. You'd have to go back in time, wouldn't you? Obviously, nowadays, there's not too many fights outdoors, let alone in racetracks. So I would think you'd have to go way back, 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 back into time. Okay. Well, you think about it. And we'll have the answer for you a little bit later on. Round number four underway. Rave Springs boxed beautifully through the first two rounds but as that punch that we showed you in round number three staggered him and it has given Davis a bit more resolve power punches in round number three 16 of 36 for Davis Springs throwing about 46 47 jabs per round break down in the fight right did break all the That's a, a little slip and a little punch as he got off as I was saying in the breakdown of the fight, I was one of the points was Springs must go out the side door, not straight out. For the most part, he's doing that. 
the thing here is he can't do it for the most part. He must do it all the time. What I said before, Davis can make mistakes and still pull this fight out of the fight. I don't believe Springs can. Davis felt that one of the areas that he's starting to mature in is he feels he's a bit more relaxed in the ring. And he says he doesn't get as frustrated as quickly where he feels that now he can stay calm and he realizes you have to just stick with the plan. Do what you do. Don't get flustered. Davis has come a long way since turning pro. Very green. No amateur background almost at all. He used to leave himself wide open, doing a lot less of that. Much more contained, much more within himself. Hey, good job by his brother, Kelly Davis, who works with him. Always a reflection on the man who's your trainer. Doesn't happen by itself. The only way it happens by itself is if the fighter has 200, 300, 400 amateur fighters, like a Sugar Ray Leonard, like a Muhammad Ali. They learn how to fight from fighting, from experience. A lot of the work's done already. But if you have a fighter like Davis with no amateur background, and it's in the hands of the trainer, in the hands of the teacher. See that tattoo on the right side of Davis's face that, that preceded boxing. It just shows that I'm a warrior, shows my dedication to my trade. Davis right now doesn't want to start getting desperate looking for one punch. He doesn't want to get behind that eight ball. Right there he caught Springs stepping back but did not follow up. Springs was able to handle the shot. Springs has negotiated the distance and the tempo here in round four after getting hurt in round three. Before getting back to school, hook up with the Champ Sports Buy One, Get One Half Off sale. Madhand, look at all these shoes. T-shirts and fleece, buy one, get one half off. I love this place. You know, if there's one good thing about back to school, this is it. The Champ Sports Buy One, Get One Half Off sale. Hook up with everything for back to school. Hello. The Champ Sports Buy One, Get One Half Off footwear and apparel sale going on now. Welcome back to Friday Night Fights, presented by Miller High Life. Bob Papa, along with Teddy Atlas. Get a look at the Saratoga racetrack. When was the only time the heavyweight championship changed hands at a racetrack? No, it was not Saratoga. You have a guess, Teddy? I'm going to guess maybe the late, great Jack Johnson, someone like Tommy Burns, Jess Willard, one of those fighters uh, from that uh, era. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, Jack Johnson! Jess Willard. Jess Willard! I got it. In Cuba, at the Oriente Racetrack in Havana, Cuba, in 19... 16. So your line of thinking was correct. 26th round, and you had two of the guys. Yes, sir. Thank you. How about that. Break it down. There's always elements you must use to break it down, whether you're right or wrong. You must have an idea how you're going to go about it. I know there's not too many fights at racetracks nowadays. I had to go back into time. And right now, Springs must make sure he doesn't go back into time. He might get knocked into time. Make sure he moves to the side. Springs ended that last round strongly with that nice combination. He landed 13 of 23 power shots, did Springs. And that was all set up by the fact that he threw 45 more jabs. Whereas Davis is throwing about 13 jabs around. And he's only landed four. See, that's the problem. You're the shorter man. You know you want to get in. At least you think you do. There are other ways to skin a cat. You can sometimes, but I don't think Davis has the expertise to do that. Doesn't have to experience. But you can make the taller man come to you and counter him. Make him give up his height. Do certain things like that. But he has to come forward right now, Davis. And Davis now is accentuating the fact he's short. Because he's just walking in without the jab. There must be a plan, there must be a key to get to that room. And the key for Davis should be coming behind the camp. Well, Davis told us yesterday, and his brother Kelly told us, that was one area that they had been working hard on in the gym, is using the jab and using it more effectively. It's not happening so far in this fight. 13 jabs around doesn't cut it. So far, Springs being allowed to do just what you would want to do. You have the talent of Springs, quickness, experience, polish. 
good fundamentals. Stay on the outside. Make sure you don't get caught. And pop, pop, pop. Pick the short and slow at Davis apart. And take advantage of his mistakes. When he comes in weak, wide, do a little counter. And then get out of dodge. See, Davis gives you plenty of opportunities, Bob, to do what Springs is good at doing. He lays in front of you, doesn't use his jab coming forward. Springs has quick hands, he can get off on the outside, and then he has time to get out. Also, Davis comes with wide shots, leaves openings for counters. Davis told us his idol was Mike Tyson in the early years, but he is using more of Mike Tyson in the later years' style. Yes, sir. Very good point there. He's not close to Tyson. The real vintage Tyson. Tyson had amateur background, about 70 fights. Tyson almost made the U.S. Olympic team. Tyson, even though he was a guy who came forward, much more power, much more experience than Davis. And Springs just staying on the outside and working the jab effectively. Now the time has come. It's summer, time to buy a Honda. Because right now, you can ride off with any new Honda for $29 a month for the first six months on the Honda card. That's any Honda, $29 a month, just in time for summer. Or get an APR as low as 2.9% on select models. Imagine, any Honda for $29 a month. See why this summer is red hot at your Honda dealer before time runs out. Gateway's new desktops are sleeker, more powerful, and extremely affordable. And right now, you can get a Gateway 500 SE with an Intel Pentium 4 processor, a free CD burner, and monitor upgrade for just $699 after a $100 mail-in rebate. Call 1-800-GATEWAY for details. Glad you can join us here in Saratoga Springs. Bob Papa, Teddy Atlas. Kelvin Davis, Rave Springs getting set for the start of round number six. Davis staggered Springs in round number three. He did not go down. That was the only point in the fight that Davis has had control. Springs has been able to stay on the outside using his jab. He's landed 74 of 249 jabs. Straight right hand from Davis. Davis needs to put something with that right hand when he gets the opportunity, which has been far and few in between. Once again, Davis just walking in, no jab. He is trying to cut the ring down, but not using the jab to close the gap. Now the jab numbers for Davis through five, seven of 75. It's less than 10%. And no body work. Davis not employing a plan. There's that right hand, but no left hook with it. We were just saying, every once in a while, he will land it. Usually, people like to throw the right hand against the south ball. Right now, Davis, who's behind in the fight, needs to put the left hook with that right hand. That time, Davis threw a good left hook to the body. He has not been employing that tactic. He's not taking the springs away from Mr. Springs. Not taking those legs away, allowing Springs to jaunt him around the ring. 49-46 for Springs. That's how Teddy has it. I have it the same way that round three in which Springs hurt Davis. The only round that Davis won an hour. Davis gives you two opportunities to score off One on the outside when he waits. He's not jam. You can score with jabs, you can score with combinations, with quick punches. Also, every once in a while, Davis will get wide. If he gets wide, he can punch in between and do some nice counter. Once again, the short of Davis, not a good sign. When he does get inside, he is not doing more work. Like right now, Spring is winning that moment. Davis went back into the gym a week after that Tipton Walker fight. He had been working hard in the gym when he got a call about two weeks ago. Julian Letterlow, Mr. K.O., suffered an injury to his hand. He was supposed to fight Rob A. Springs, and he stepped Kelvin Davis. 
so far. They may have made a mistake, underestimated. Springs the Davis people. Springs was a terrific amateur. Real good prospect. People thought he was very disappointing in the pros, losing both fights, two fights by knockout. But he's starting to show some of that potential tonight. No, 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 I gotta call you back. Hello, Judith speaking. Ring a ding ding, Judy. Vegas here. Las Vegas? How did you get this number? Never mind that, Ted. What do you say you and me go hit the strip again tonight, huh? I can't. I can't. I have to finish these employee evaluations. Hey, baby, you can keep working, or you can start living. It's your choice. But that'd be really wild. <laughs> now, there's the crazy dame I know. Thanks to the latest breakthroughs in hair loss technology, it's impossible to tell who is a hair club client and who's not. Call 1-800-HAIR-CLUB now and get the latest hair loss update free. Hair Club has been helping millions of people get educated on hair loss and what options actually work. So who is a hair club client? I am. Call 1-800-HAIR-CLUB for the answers to thinning hair. Round number seven underway for Kelvin Davis and Rave Springs. These are cruiserweights. This is a 10-rounder from Saratoga Springs. While Papa Teddy out this ringside, no knockdowns in the fight. Davis hurt Springs in the third round. But that's been about it. Springs, the taller man, has been able to use his jab effectively. Next week on Friday Night Fights, we're making like Will Smith and going to Miami. August the 23rd at 9 p.m., Corey Spinks, Rafael Pineda from Miami. Friday Night Fights presented by Miller Highlight. As I said, the last round, Springs, 1990, national amateur champion, 127 amateur fights. Tremendous prospect when he turns out. That knocked out his first pro fight. He was a disappointment. But tonight, he is showing a lot of why people thought he was a prospect. He also felt that he was a bit mismanaged. He said, I'm not blaming all my problems on the original management team, but he said I was a little disillusioned, I was a little disgusted, didn't trust people. And now he's with people from Cincinnati, Ricardo Williams Sr. He's like a big brother to Ricardo Williams Jr. And it feels it's his time now for it to all come together. Ricardo Williams Sr. doing a good job. Had a good game plan. Has had a good game plan here tonight for his charge. Frank, of course, a good venture. Carter Williams Sr. also trains his son, the former silver, silver medalist in the 2000 Olympics. The you undefeated made, junior welterweight. You made a point earlier, you know, Letterlo was supposed to fight Springs, and you said, well, maybe the Davis people underestimated Rave Springs. Does a loss at this point with no amateur experience and a win against Arthur Williams, does a loss really hurt Kelvin Davis that much because he's so raw and he's still learning? It hurts you more in today's era with TV, wanting those undefeated records so much. And right now, Springs is really taking charge. Davis using no jab to get in. But with today's television market, everyone wants that undefeated record. It hurts in that way, especially if you're trying to have a gimmick and trying to attach yourself as a patron with life. Yes, it does hurt. But in the old days, it never hurt. You learned. And you learned. You got better. And that's all that mattered. Because if you got better, you were going to be able to fight the kind of fighters you needed to fight and beat to move up in this difficult business. But because of Davis's power, they could put him in the next couple of fights with the right guys, and yes, he could sir. look explosive again. And suddenly, you know, obviously, he's not going to be in the title picture, but he gets back in the mix. That's part of the problem tonight. The style. This is a bad style for Davis. Good style for Springs. core of sports burns a blistering inferno of explosive action, aggressive, hardcore, adrenaline style. MLB Slugfest, NFL Blitz, NHL Hits. Ignite your game. Ready to everyone. Anyone who loves barbecue knows that chicken's chicken, but the right sauce makes it barbecue. Thick, rich KC Masterpiece with garlic, molasses, onions, and spices. Mmm, mmm. KC Masterpiece, the sauce that makes it barbecue. 
this is your own personal assembly line, where deals are made just for you. Like this week's special, the Compact Presario 6000 TPC. It's got an Intel Pentium 4 processor that delivers performance where you need it most. You'll also get a monitor, 20 gig hard drive, and tons of other great features, all for just $6.99 after a $30 rebate. Hurry and call 1-800-331-0403, and we'll line one up for you. In round number eight of the scheduled 10 round cruiserweight bout, Rave Springs in the silver trunks, Kelvin Concrete Davis in the solid black, Davis 18 0 and 1, 13 knockouts, Springs 24 and 2 with 19 knockouts, Springs is a top amateur, Davis only seven bouts as an amateur. Da uh, Springs has controlled this fight using his jab effectively, keeping it on the outside. The only telling blow in the fight from Davis came in round number three when he hurt Springs, but Springs did not go down. Right now, Springs, all he had to do is stay on his feet. I believe, anyway, make sure he doesn't get cocky, careless, doesn't get greedy, try to stay there a little too much. Get what you can get and get out. Doesn't he still have that shot he took in round three as a fresh reminder? That's a good point there, partner. That should be a reminder. That could help him win this fight. Right there, early on in the fight, he was reminded of the danger that's always present. And that he has to stay with his game plan that him and his trainer, Ricardo Williams Sr., have come up with. Davis has not done enough of that. Double and triple his jab trying to work his way in. Davis is corner in between rounds trying to motivate him. Telling him the truth. You're behind. You need to get in there and score a punch. A big punch. You can't do that if you're outside. You got to get in close. But it's Springs controlling the distance with his jab, shooting his left hand. And that's a good corner there with Kelvin Davis. Besides his brother, he has the legendary Lou Duva. Great motivator. And Jim Strickland, tremendous cut man and boxing man. Right now, they can't fight the fight. That is in the hands of Davis, Bob. Yeah, Kelvin Davis is a real nice kid. We've been around a bunch of times. And he's a hard worker. But right now, he's just... The skill level of Springs is a little too much from the handle. Big difference. Big difference. And he had to expect it. He had that amateur background. And a point you made earlier, Teddy, I think is also a telling sign here, is that Davis, in the early part of the fight, did no body work. So that has allowed Springs to remain fresh and remain on his toes. And when he's on his toes and fresh, he keeps it to the outside. You see the punch numbers through two rounds. More sports presented by Bud Light coming up next, hosted by Jay Moore. You're watching Friday Night Fights presented by Miller High Life, Bob Papa, Teddy Atlas, Saratoga Springs, New York, Kelvin Davis, Rave Springs. Coming to the end of round number eight, Springs using his jab, controlling this fight on the outside. Bad style. We said it the last round. Very bad style for David. Good style for Springs. Springs in total control. I've always loved working on computers, and in the Army, that's what I do. If you never thought about the U.S. Army or Army Reserve, think about this. There are 212 ways for you to become a soldier and work at a job you'll love. Call for this free video to find out which job is right for you. And if you call 1-800-645-ARMY right now, you'll also receive a free Army t-shirt with your video. Discover the 212 ways you can be an Army of One. To the corner of Kelvin Davis. Kelly Davis, Lou Duva doing the talking. You better take it to him. What rounds? It's not. Nice round. Check us out. Let's go, man. Let's go. Uh, trying to give Davis a pep talk. Now, Teddy, this could be a bad sign for Rave Springs. In the last round, according to CompuBox, round number eight was the first round in the fight that Springs did not land double digit jab numbers. And the amount of jab number, the amount of jabs he threw was about the same, but he only landed eight. He was over 50% of his power shot, 16 of 28. That could bring him right into harm's way. Yes, it could. That could open the door. The door that Davis needs to be open. 
to get distance, to get close enough to land the big punch. And he still has the potential of landing. He said it right from the top. Springs must fight an almost perfect fight. Cross all his teeth, dot all his eyes. Davis can pull this fight out with one big blow. We were talking earlier about maybe forgetting how good Springs was as an amateur, forgetting what a good prospect he was because of his two losses in a row. Maybe no. underestimating that. But one other uh, thing that I believe the Davis people maybe didn't really realize as much was the style matchup was going to be very difficult if they could not catch me. And I think the Springs people realized, hey, we're going to get back in the race, back in the good position in this business. This is the great spot to do it. An undefeated fighter and a fighter who has a style that's great odds. He's slow, he's one-dimensional, he's raw. We got a guy that can take advantage of that. Remember, Springs was supposed to fight Julian Letterlow. I don't blame I, I don't blame the Davis people for taking this on two weeks notice. It's main event, main event money. No, I don't blame them. I do not blame them. But I believe that you always have to be aware of style matchups. I believe they figured that sooner or later they were going to catch things. Never went to the body. Didn't go to the body. That's a good point there, partner. That's like putting money in CDs, putting money in the bank. It draws interest. You have to leave it on the CDs for six months, for a year, and you get maximum interest. If you go to the body, you got to go early. Uh oh, Davis looked like he caught Springs there against the ropes, but only one shot, not two. And as we said about body punching, body punching pays dividends. Like the CDs in the bank, late, not early, but as the rounds go on, it takes the legs away, the legs that Springs is showing you right now. That he might not be showing you. There's been body work by Davis. Trying to negotiate these last eight seconds of round nine. He's got three more minutes after that to negotiate after the power of Davis and. A little exchange there at the end of the round. Let's take it to the corner of Rave Springs. gets Springs against the ropes, but Springs does a good job of tying up. And Davis does a poor job of keeping his hands going and allows himself to be tied up. Are you surprised in the corner of Springs that they were so adamant about having to go after Davis there in the last round? I was just listening, to be honest with you, in the Davis corner, they were adamant, and I expected them to be. I didn't, I didn't hear the Springs corner. They were adamant, yes, I am surprised. Because the one thing you don't want to do is play with fire. You don't want to give Davis, who I believe is behind in this fight, give him the one opportunity that he needs, and that is for Springs to stay there a little too long, to come forward, to get a little greedy, and maybe get caught like, oh, that. like that. Like that, baby! Let's see if Springs' experience helps out here. He's not tying Davis up. Springs must not go straight back. That is the key. Do not go straight back. Keep the hands up. Plenty of time to go. Still two minutes to go. Davis not going to the body, though, Teddy. And that would be one way to free the legs right now. The head movement of the elusive Springs. Put Springs in position that Davis so badly needs, so badly wants. 
to stay still. Davis would use that jab. Use a little bit more technique to get closer. Tell you, you almost feel like the moment has passed. Springs has sort of regrouped. That's a good point. You know, the moment's passed now for Davis. He wasted it. It's gone. You're right. There's still danger. Don't get me wrong, but that was his moment. No doubt about it. He should have let all hell break loose. Buddy, we just went wild head hunting. Right now, Davis being hurt by being contained. He should go back to the earlier days when he was uncontained and just let his hands go right now and go back to being contained in his next fight with more of a jab. Go back to the chalkboard in his next fight. Improve where you have to improve. But right now, let those hands go. Kelvin Davis had a golden opportunity here in round 10. He had springs hurt. But he started just throwing wild shots, nothing to the body. And he let Springs steady the ship. And right now, letting Springs tie him up. Two opportunities and count them. Two for Davis. One is on the inside, and one is when he can catch Springs stepping back. Both of them, you need to move your hands to be able to take advantage. Davis gets inside, he does not move his hands. Not enough. Not be saved by the bell in any round. And Kelvin Davis is going to run out of time here. He had his opportunities in this last round against Rave Springs. But he didn't have the experience to punish Springs more. The judges' cards after this. Here's a lesson for the would-be Casanova. Every so often, it's advantageous to remind the little lady she hasn't dropped off the radar. Well, well, well. Two to one, you'll be living the high life tonight. Hey, guys, I'm home. Your kids have graduated from college. It's now your home to organize any way you please. Your daughter's old bedroom, you've converted into your very own craft room. Your son's old bedroom, perhaps you converted a bit too quickly. Ace, your helpful hardware place. Mom. on ESPN2 has been presented by Miller High Life to live simply, proudly, boldly, manly. This is the High Life. And in part by Ace, your helpful hardware place. Here in Saratoga, New York, Rave Springs landed 29% of his jabs in this fight. He got hurt in the last round, but Kelvin Davis never made him pay. Teddy Atlas's scorecard reads as follows. 97, 93. I had it 98, 92 for Springs. With the judges' cards, here's M. Mark Biro. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. All three judges at ringside, Judge Latham, Letterman, and Ackerman, score the bout 97-93 to the winner by unanimous decision, Rafe! Springs. Rave Springs gets win number 25, the first loss for Kelvin Davis in his professional career. For Teddy Atlas, Kevin Cork, Max Kellerman, Bob Papa saying so long. Coming up next, more sports presented by Bud Light. executives at ESPN.